Hi, Year 4! Today, we are going to learn about food and your body. So, this is part 1 out of 2 parts. Ada part 2 karang. So, um, if you want to use your textbook, you can go to page 106 to 110. So, your lesson objective is you're going to explain how food is needed to keep the body healthy. So, the steps to success is to identify the different groups of food, give examples of different kinds of food in the group, and list ways the groups of food is used in the body. So, let's first talk about why do we need food? Mengapa kami perlu makanan? So, the most obvious ans uh, answer we've learned this earlier in the topic, is that people, people are living things, so we need food to live, untuk hidup. So, the different kinds of food we eat makes up our diet. So, diet ani, apa yang kami makan. So, for example, if you look at this plate, uh, your diet is fruits, breads, uh, vegetables, and meat. So, for, uh, if we look at this girl, her diet is rice, water, and maybe, is that chicken? Maybe chicken over there. So, it is important that your diet consists of a variety of healthy food so that your body stays fit and healthy. So, diet kami, benda-benda uh, yang kami makan ato, mesti ada berbeza-beza and perbezaannya tu mesti yang healthy. So, macam arah pinggana ni, ada fruits, ada vegetables, ada bread, and then ada meat. That's very healthy. Um, an unhealthy plate may be macam uh, too much bread. So, sekiranya the bread ani separoh tak pulang. And then the other half ani meat saja. So, bread sama meat. Nada vegetables, nada fruit. That would be an unhealthy diet. So, if you have an unhealthy diet, your body will not be fit or healthy. So, uh, let's talk about how food helps our body. So, tadi kami cakap, we need food to be fit and healthy. Tapi, cemana ya fit and healthy ato? So, the food helps our body to grow strong muscles and bones. So, makanan-makanan yang kami masukkan ke dalam badan kami ni diperlukan supaya kami punya otot sama tulang, uh, grow, supaya ia menjadi kuat. Uh, yes, supaya menjadi kuat. So, strong, kuat. Repair damage. So, kadang-kadang uh, kami boleh uh, ter-injure ourselves. For example, maybe uh, terputong kami punya kulit because kami uh, tekana benda tajam. So, that is damage. Sakit kami punya badan. So, food helps us repair, memperbaiki kesakitan arah badan kami ato. Next one. So, we need food to get the energy to carry out daily activities. So, ani kamu tahu kali ni. Bila kami makan, kami ada tenaga. Bila kami ada tenaga, kami boleh buat Perkara-perkara uh, yang perlu buat untuk setiap hari. Keep warm. So, makanan ani bila yang masuk dalam badan, it can make our body feel warm. So, indah kami rasa kesajukan. If kami dalam tempat yang sajuk, uh, our body will stay warm. And then, fight diseases and stay healthy. So, some foods, they can help. Uh, lawan bacteria-bacteria sama virus-virus supaya ia indah menyakiti badan kami. So, fight diseases, lawan penyakit, stay healthy, uh, sentiasa sehat. Okay, so these are the five re uh, five ways food helps our body. Ini in general, belum ia beritahu macam cemana kumpulan-kumpulan makanan itu. That's coming up. So, before we talk about cemana the different food uh, menolong badan kami, we need to learn the different groups of food. So, the one yang kami belajar, we have seven groups of food. The first one is called carbohydrates. 
So, carbohydrates ada pisang, potato, bread, nasi, pasta. So, these are carbohydrates. Proteins. So, proteins, for example, cheese, milk, fish, uh, meat, chicken, eggs, nuts. So, these are proteins. Vitamins. So, vitamins we get from fruits and vegetables. So, apples, oranges, tomatoes, uh, carrots. Minerals. So, minerals we can get it from vegetables and some fruits. So, vegetables, any other uh, paprika, broccoli, fruits we have apple, banana, grapes, and then some milk jua and mushrooms. Fats and sugar. So, fats and sugar, we have ani lemak dan gula. So, uh, donuts, pizza, burger, banyak yang nyaman yang kami tahu lah. And then, water. Water satu group, roughage satu group. So, roughage, for example, broccoli, sayur-sayuran sama buah-buahan. Tomatoes, um, apa lagi ni, cauliflower, water, water. So, those are the seven groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven are the tujuh groups. So, we're going to talk about the first group, which is carbohydrates. So, food such as rice, potatoes, bread, pasta are high in carbohydrates. Mr. Uh, makanan ani banyak karbohydratnya. So, carbohydrate ni apa gunanya? It is used to give your body the energy it needs to do daily activities. So, makanan-makanan carbohydrates ni membagi banyak tenaga. Ya tah ya jadi makanan asasi biasanya ni. So, rice, potatoes, bread, pasta, uh, banyak carbohydrates, banyak energy. Proteins. So, proteins, we have meat. So, meat, for example, beef, chicken, fish, beans, milk, some are milk products. So, milk and milk products. Milk products, any, for example, yogurt, yogurt, eh, mana yogurt? Yogurt, cheese, ah, yogurt, some are cheese, atu ta milk products. So, they are a good source of protein. So, protein, ane is needed for growth supaya badan kami membesar to build strong muscle supaya kami ada muscle dapat kami jadi kuat and repair damage to the body so macam tadi teacher cakap if ada sakit arah badan macam tu putong uh, ia tah protein ani yang membuat uh, menolong supaya ia dapat diperbaiki okay please go to part 2 for the rest of your lesson